Grant Holt, it's a good opportunity for him, isn't it, uh, in Christian's absence? And, and the signs <coughs> were certainly last mm. Saturday that he'll be able to take it. Well, I thought Holt had done great on Saturday. I really did. I thought he'd done great. It was his first kind of full game since um, cool, October, something like that. So um, I thought he led the line fantastic for us. I really did. He showed a really good goal, but I thought his general game was, was good. And do you think he's good for the rest of the team as well, in the sense that he's got that experience and that sort of big game mentality from when he was with you at Norwich? Well, you see, the thing about Grant is he, he's been over the course before. He knows exactly what, what it's like footballing. He's been, a, he's been in every league going. So you know, he knows. He's been around the block. He's, I know exactly what, what you can get from him. So you have no qualms about him now, certainly in, the, in these last few matches. He can, he can make a big contribution. No, I don't, I don't have any fear whatsoever with him. None. 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 don't have any fear with any of the lads that play play for us. They go out there and they, um, they give it everything they've, they've got. And Grant will do the same. Alex Toneff has come on and he gets involved, doesn't he? He's, he's, he's getting closer to scoring mm. that goal. And yeah. you, you must be pleased with that. I thought, I thought he'd done all right, player. Alex. I thought he'd mm. done fine when he came on on Saturday. And he was unlucky not to, not to score. So, as I said, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to adjust to certain, certain countries, so, but he's he done all right. And you're just waiting for something to happen from him, either hammering one in the top corner or getting across him for a goal. He, he seems to be on the verge of something. Well, he's got every attribute for a, a footballer. He's got speed, two really good feet, both footed, very strong. He can pass it. He knows exactly what it, what it takes. He's just probably adjusting longer than that, that, that you'd hoped for. It's just over a year ago when you, you went to Stoke and had that fabulous victory mm. when, when you really needed it. And, and you know, we've seen that from your team last season and to a degree this season, where, mm. you know, when the stakes have been high, you, you've come up trumps with the result. Yeah, I have to do it again. As, as I said, it's um, a game where you're, you're going to have to be strong. Crystal Pass, he said, it's, it's going to be a a tight game the way the way the stadium is down there. It's going to be a hard, hard game, but also no, we can we can create things. It's up to us to score. Yeah, and, and when the pundits have almost been expecting you to struggle, you have done well. You know, thinking of going to the Emirates and yeah, and home to Chelsea, and Manchester City, and yeah. even now, you know, with with Palace's form, that seems to be the the view. But you can turn that in your favour. Oh, you can. We've seemed to have picked up. You're right, Jack. Results that um, people never expected to get results. That's that's been the story of the season, really. That, that you've picked up points where nobody expected, and you've lost ones where where people expected you to to win. So um, this is a game I think everybody will look forward to going down there. Been an absolute battle down there, and you have to be prepared for it. Yeah, I know you know Tony pretty well, but do you think he's got a case to be one of the managers? of the season, really, given how he's transformed things at Palace? Well, it really surprised me that if, uh, if Tony got uh, anything. So, um, as I said, I got on gone, uh, well with him on that aspect and he's done great. He's, listen, he's done great wherever he's been. It's not, it's not mm. just Crystal Palace. He's done great at, at Stoke as well. So, um, it doesn't really surprise me, no. How about his players then? What, what, what do you make of them as a... As a squad, they've, they've got some dangerous ones. Yeah, they have. Good, honest honest pros. It will, will be a tough game. But equally so, the same for them. It will be a tough game for them. Uh, but they've got picked up a couple of results in the last few weeks that have, that have gave them a fighting chance. Yeah, you mentioned Gabby and Fabian, Kareem, all, all being fit. Yeah. Has that given, given you a, a boost on the training ground as you, as you prepare for this one? Oh, it certainly does. I mean, the the thing from last week, we, we lost Christian and Fabian, lose him in the morning of the game, and then Gabby. And obviously, you knew Kareem was out. That's, that's, that's a big a big chunk for the lads that have been playing for us most of the most of the season. And when you look around the guy, I mean, you know, got a lot of young players, but do you get the sense that there is an excitement and a determination there in this last six games to, to finish well? Yeah, no, you, you, get, you get that every day, the, the enthusiasm for the game, you get that in, in training, you get that everywhere, 
Yeah, so I don't I don't have any any doubt about that whatsoever. 